Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Golden Score here on the completion of day two of competition at this year's Baku Grand Slam. Robin Willingham. Hello. <laughs> yeah, good. That was a pretty good final block. There was a lot of action there. I'm glad you said that because it means you've got lots of people lined up. Yeah. Who have you got first? Uh, first up, we have uh, Lulu Pievasana. Uh, under 63 kilogram gold medalist from uh, representing Austria. Hi, Lily. Hi. We've been wait Hi. we've waiting a long time <laughs> to welcome you out here. Congratulations! Hi. So happy yeah. for you. What a win! What a win! Lovely. That, that was a, a <laughs> epic final. That was crazy. How did you manage to pull out such a massive throw at the end of such a long contest? <laughs> well, I think because I one time had a wasari and it was taken off. And then I had some real motivation then. I thought, no, I want to win this. And then I th thought, I've just got to go for this now. If I fall on my back, I don't have any more energy for another exchange. So I thought, it's now or never. We'll see what happens. Yeah, what did you, you didn't do? Look as though, you didn't look as though you were running out of steam. I was faking it then. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, okay. That's I can't convincing. breathe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, because you, yeah, you had the wasari, mm -hmm. and then it got taken away. Obviously, you yeah. think you've won. Yeah. What, uh, what did you do there in your, in your head? How did you get yourself back in the game? Well, at first I was trying to watch it on the screen, like, oh, are they going to give it? And then I saw it on the screen and I thought, OK, it's close, so just focus now. We'll keep fighting. And if they give the score, then it's a good thing. If not, we'll just keep going and try and do it again. <laughs> Afterwards, um, I, I saw you actually chat, chatting to Kat. Um, that was, a, I thought, a really nice moment. You guys had just had this epic fight together and then suddenly you're there having chat like a couple good mates. What, what, t tell us about your relationship with her. Um, obviously, we fight a lot on the training camps, and obviously she speaks English, so we've done a lot of randori together, and I think she's a really nice person, so obviously we're quite good friends, and she's beaten me a few times now, so... Well, do you want to see how you beat her? <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> if you must. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, you look fine. You don't look tired at all. <laughs> Talk us through the, uh, I think we're going to see the score, yeah, this moment. Did you know you had it? Yeah, well, when she gripped me over the top, I was waiting for this the whole fight, but she knows I like the Uranagi, so she was very careful. But I think as she got tired, she maybe made a mistake, I'm not sure, and came over, and I thought, this is my moment now. If I don't throw her now, it's probably not going to happen. And I just jumped, and I thought, we'll see. <laughs> You're right, it was the first time that you'd had the opportunity. Yeah, because yeah. she really knows I like to come in close, so she blocked me most of the fight. But I knew as we went in, I thought, I'm going to get this chance one time, and I took it. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it, look. Yes. Uh, so this is your, uh, it's your first gold for Austria, isn't it? Yeah. 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 How, uh, what, like, how does that feel? It's really good, like, I think because Austria really been supportive of me over the last years, and now to have a gold medal for them, I think they can say, yeah, hopefully I was worth the investment for <laughs> them over the last years. It's really years. funny because immediately after you'd finished and the, they had the anthem, Mickey Polaris came out. I thought, yeah. that's motivation, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> well, the team did really well, yeah. so we had three of us fighting for a medal, so I think we... <laughs> The younger ones did really good in the European Open recently, so I think it motivated us all to show like the, the top team can also do good as well. Well, it was very pleasing to watch. Oh, really thank happy you for very you. much. Just a quick question before you go. What were you and Kat actually ch chatting about? Um, I was asking her which competition she's going to do. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Planning your next big oh, goes. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to go there if you're going there. <laughs> and, and the points for qualification, really, really good. Yeah, this was really yeah, was good super. for me. So, because yeah. I missed the first year of qualification, so now to have this is really good for well, me. I don't so, know. you're in. Yeah, yeah, you're hopefully. In. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. What's, uh, what tournament's next for you? Uh, we'll fight Linz next. Ah, so, obviously, at home. So, yeah. I'm not such a fan of competing at the home tournaments. So, uh -oh. I get not? very nervous when it's people you know are watching. So, but I have to imagine, you know. It's, yeah. a, it's somewhere else. Yeah, somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Well, Thanks. see you in Linz. Thanks. Stay calm. I'm we'll sure try. you'll do absolutely fine. Maybe we'll see you back out here. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations, Congratulations. to Ljana Piersana, gold medal winner in the under 63 kilo category. All right. And that was thumping. Wasn't yeah, it was. And absolutely world number massive. one. You know, bury the world number one. Yeah, yeah. Who have you got for us next? <laughs> well, we actually have the man of the hour. Yeah. We have uh, Mr. Hidya Hader of the. He heard his name a few times today. Hidayat, Hidayat, Hidayat. <laughs> hey, man. Congratulations. How is, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, my feeling is good. I am happy again. My home, I am champion. And family and friends watching, everybody here? Yeah, everybody here. In, I say everybody only coming here, final block. Yeah, <laughs> they only needed to. But it wasn't 
easy all day. Some tough fights today. Me? Today? Yes. Today, some smart fight. Yeah, right. <laughs> and the score? The, your score? You uh, yeah. expect? Final. Or Coldness. Final. So. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Surprise? Surprise, yes. Let's, uh, first, let's first look time. at it. First time I try. First time? Yes. <laughs> a little early was time. it? Yeah, the, the, the I, I try right. Uh, he, he not. Yeah, in, I left right. At the before. same time? Yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Ah. Uh, yeah, just before, at the same before time. Before I try right, no, no Ipon. One time left, Ipon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good, okay. good choice. Yes. Good choice. H had you first time fought yeah. Sherov? Yes, that was the first, first time, time I fought. Yes. Very good. Young boy. Yeah, very young. Yeah. I think 20. 20. 20. 20. Yeah. Good, good boy. And uh, nice to hear the anthem for the, for yeah. the crowd. Yeah. Very good. Good yeah. for you. Thank you. Next competition? Uh, next competition, Europa, Europa and World and Olympic Games. That's okay, it. there's yeah. three, yeah, just small I, competitions, I, I three small competitions. I want three times <laughs> gold medal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice, okay. <laughs> I have. Well, we know that your family and friends are waiting for the big celebration. Yes. So we're going to get you go for a celebration. Thank you Congratulations much. again. Thank you. Thanks, Hidia. Hidayat Hidarov. It was absolutely he, crazy. Yeah. It was deafening. It's like all the kids going wild as he walks off, and then they're all just wanting his autograph. It's um, it's actually really nice to see. Right, who have we got for us? We next? have Barbara the Matic. former world champion. I'm sorry, I've said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> From Croatia, Barbara Matic. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. You too. Welcome back. Congratulations. <laughs> we thought for a moment that it was yeah. not going to go your way. What a final. <laughs> yeah. I have to say this kind of this kind of match is my it's my favorite thing to watch like it's just like back and forth you're down you're back up it's uh, yes. wh what's it like to be in a fight like that uh, I knew it will be dynamic and f a very fast fight because uh, when we fight it's always big pawns big throws and I was prepared on it but when I fall um, I was in my head I was like don't panic you have time and I managed to leave on <laughs> Neil Adams said that there's no panic there's yes. no change in, in, in your face. I was, Good well, concentration. I wanted to stay focused, and uh, it was like that. Yeah, and she, she kind of pushed on to you at a certain point. Were yes. you expecting that? Is that? Um, Ko said that he, uh, he imagined that I will throw her that because uh, he knew that he will go, she will go up and up and up with ah, her, so. yeah, with her uh, right hand. So I just feel it, and uh, I, I think it was like, uh, but it's better for me to not put uh, to her not put a uh, hand on my uh, neck yeah. so it was like do so well, nice. Let's, let's <laughs> look. Thank you. We can we can have a look. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yeah the two steps forward yeah. makes it easy for you. She's Yes and I go out with my with my shoulder and like Were you sort of thinking like ah oh, the arms there thank you. <laughs> Thanks man. <Mary>. Yes. <laughs> Another thing we were looking at was just how tight it was in the top half. She can't get off that. Really, really yeah, nice and, and tight in here. Yeah, and she's going that way, and I just... What I really like, Barbara, is that you, uh, some people who are as regular Grand Slam winners as you, they can be, they win the Grand Slam, and they're like, cool. You actually, you seem so happy when you win, and you seem like it's, it's you have such great celebrations. Yes, because uh, I know Maria for a long time, and uh, it's always difficult fight with her, so I was super happy, and uh, that's, this is my third competition in a row, and I won gold, and I'm super happy about everything <laughs> for the good start of the year, good uh, good competition, good fights, and everything, so it was like, whew, really. Yeah, it's going well, 2024. <laughs> yeah. For good. me, it's good, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're healthy? Uh, okay? Yes, I'm no feeling good, yes. No injuries. Just this time, but it's okay. Good for you. Classic yeah. judo injury. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where will we see you next? I think uh, in Georgia. Okay. I think a little bit rest and uh, prepare for the. Everything. Get that thumb better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Robert. you. Congratulations, Congratulations once again. Thank you. Great. Nice to see you. Bye. Right, she's um, a regular out, isn't she, yeah, Barbara? Yeah. <laughs> but you don't like that. It's no surprise. <laughs> we got we got one more, and then we've got the technical analysis with Neil. Who've you got coming Indeed, up? Indeed, we have uh, saved till last. We've got uh, a Pan American, a Canadian. We have Mr. Margelodon. Okay, I'm going to ask him actually. 
because I, I wasn't sure whether it was jelly or gelly. Uh -huh. But he's, he's out in the middle now. So Hi, hey, how are you? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, congratulations. it. Congratulations. I wanted to ask much. you about the special tape yeah, that you had. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was interesting. <laughs> I don't know, because I actually was uh, doing the warm-up, and then they were saying, do you have a piece of chocolate on your, ma on your mouth? And I was like, well, I ate chocolate, but I'm not sure it's that. <laughs> <laughs> then I start scratching, and we realized it was blood. So oh. Oh. we had to tape it. Otherwise, I was I going to, to bleed all over the mat. And like, you don't want to have that tape around the face. No. So while it's dry, I decided to patch my face up. <laughs> and, and just one little point. Yeah. Uh, Margelidon or Margelidon? Margelidon. Oh, okay, right, right, the French. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry I'm classic, yeah. classic English. I'm not pronounce anything. I'm actually, I'm actually French. My parents are French from France, and we came to Canada when I was like one years old. So I lived all my life in Canada, but my name is Marjolidon. That's why it sounds French. So <laughs> when you're speaking French yeah. with your parents, yeah. You learned French from them. Yes, I did. Which is different from going to school with your buddies. Exactly. <laughs> I learned a lot of bad words that my oh. parents were not <laughs> proud of. <laughs> I'll have to ask you about those afterwards. <laughs> the accent I have when I get to my parents, sometimes after school, they were like, ah, that's not how you say things. Like, but it's okay. <laughs> hey, it was well, a good, good bronze <laughs> fight, man. Yeah, really good. Yeah, I appreciate really good it. Fight. Thank you very much. Thank really quick, um, quick transition. Yeah. And then also, he escaped and yeah. you kept, kept going. Yeah, like, that's that's an important part of your game, right? Is getting getting straight into groundwork. Exactly, because like as soon as I saw that score on, I was like, I'm not letting him back up, because I don't want to take the risk of getting another shido. I was already two shido down. You don't know how you're gonna get it. So I said, I'm gonna dig in and try to uh, keep it on the floor and try to actually catch him, which I did, but. I think a little too late for the Ipon. Mm. <laughs> we, we can take a look. Yeah, can, yeah sure. <laughs> Oh, there's the chin oh, that's strap. My patch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is the patch. How did yeah, look? That is. How's it look? <laughs> I thought it looked more like my skin, but uh <laughs> mind you, he had some strapping as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think it's against Aidarov. He did that. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. And then straight on. Yeah, I lost him the first time. Yeah, what happened? How did he escape? I he, like they all keep their elbow tight, so they push away. And as he pushed away, I couldn't keep him tight, and he rolled outside of my uh, outside of my body i think you're mm. gonna see it yeah and then i go back on top of him he, he that rolls the score, uh, that's the that's the score which i was happy to get ah, that off two sleeves as well like yeah. You, yeah i works a lot i work a lot recently with the two sleeves because i realized that like a lot of people and a lot of opponent to prevent you to attack they keep your sleeve down mm. so i tried to learn um to do actually techniques from that position and I scored another, I think in my quarterfinal, uh, no, repechage, I scored the, uh, yeah. Just wanted to ask you what you were saying to him there. I, I told him, because I saw him really disappointed and it's in his country, so I'm, I, I got to that point when the Grand Prix was in Montreal and it kind of hit me differently. Mm. So I told him to just keep his head up, you're a strong athlete, you're still young keep going and oh. it's gonna yeah, happen yeah and you could see he, he took that on yeah. just gonna ask you quick quickly your your first coach not who's yep. coaching you internationally yep. but who prepared you because your mat etiquette mm. is exemplary yeah and we noticed that <laughs> really so who's responsible for that who's your 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 coach that uh, put I, that into I, my, you my, my dad is the first coach i ever got so he teach me judo pre pop properly and every time I had the different coach, because when I grew up, obviously you change and you get different coach. But my dad really got me to that like uh, uh, judo proper respect and everything. And I think it's important because yes, it's a sport, but we all try to get the same thing. Mm. And you have to do it with respect. There's no point of like being uh, rude or like uh, a bully. Like, I think if you do your thing properly, you're going to reach anything. So The little things that I see, your mat etiquette, yeah. are just a little bit special yeah. and really set, set you apart. So congratulations yeah. on Thank that. Thank you very and much. Congratulations on, on the medal win today as well. Thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Take dude. care. Have okay. a good day. Margelidon. Margelidon, yeah. I'll get, it, I'll get it right next time, I promise. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Right. All right. Looks like we've got Mr. Neil Adams. See, e even at the end, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. we we was off polite. camera. Yeah. Hi, right, Neil. That's Ooh. a quality player there. Quality Good player, one, Arthur Mazzelli. Nice. Right, Neil. We Time for your uh, technical analysis. What's the guy? Uh,
We need that uh, drum roll, don't we? Swing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, we saw some good things today. Uh, I, I thought um, there were a couple of tire toshes. We're going to start with one, and then we're going to do two old Chigaris that, 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 that we commented when we were commentating that were fantastic, and then a tire toshi readjustment at the end. Right. right. So we're going to start awesome. off with a tire toshi, and uh, this is uh, Mert uh, uh doing the tire toshi. And what I like about this is um, actually a readjustment, but he just makes it look so easy. But he goes off the sleeve, and uh, I, I think that's uh, why we kind of picked up on it. You know, he, he doesn't go off the lapel. He catches the sleeve first of all, and Esposito, unfortunately, is on the end of this. And then he just comes over the top onto the uh, wrist and then just... Uh, momentarily he just steps across and uh, the, the last one we're going to see as well is is pretty similar to that but it's the readjustment that i thought that was uh, pretty smart yeah. and also the uh, grip on the uh, sleeve it's not the traditional tire toshi and we've seen nicer looking tire toshis but i just thought that was real opportune stuff and against Esposito as well. Good. And against uh, Esposito, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, catching him, you know. Um, the two Ouches in between, right, were wow. Uh, I, you know, I, we, we just went, oh, oh, my goodness me. We could hardly draw breath. And I think the first one was Estrada, was Estrada yeah, yeah, I think it was. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh. And, and I think that what's so great about this is that we always tell, uh, when we're teaching uh, Ouchi, we try and teach not to dip too much well he got he starts to dip for it but as he dips he pulls down so hard on that sleeve and uh, on the outside of the uh, sleeve as well and he manages to really pin it and he uh, you know he, he, there is a danger when you start to dip your head towards the uh, support the, you know the reaping leg uh, that you can get countered to counteract that all right, he, he stops that by absolutely nailing that shoulder. So perfect. Yeah, absolutely, he nails it, he really nails it. And the head as well, where the head is, that makes a, a massive difference as well. Quality execution. Yeah, that. Qual quality. Um, let's have a look at the other um, uh, Ochi, and I'm just trying to think who it is uh, now. Um, I think... Uh, We'll see who it is. It's Kalaziev. Yes, it is. It's Kalaziev there. And uh, watch this. He just explodes into this. Ah, it's the coach. Oh, it's the coachy. It's not the Ochi. It's the coachy, isn't it? And uh, well, I think what was so sweet about this is that uh, he kind of, uh, he, he, he just switches. And he had so, uh, so many nice little points that he does uh, when he moves, but he catches it on the move. And I think that's what's so nice. To quote a great that. man, action, reaction. Talk about action, reaction, <laughs> right? I mean, with the hands there, he's pulling, he's pulling, he gets the opposite reaction there. And then, of course, we always say that it's hands and feet working together, which is the important thing. Watch this as he gets the action, reaction, and then look at the uh, leg there, just catches, and then he directs. Such good timing perfect timing and it's one of those kind of things is that um, we, we learn to do action reaction with the hands and the feet working together and that's what happens when you do it you know it's uh, a lot of um, uh, drilling and uh, working getting the hands and the feet working together is the key point you've got one more for us one more the tire toshi and uh, this, this little tire toshi is a total readjustment we, we, we were commentating this uh, Sheldon Gershak and yeah, it's Gershak, yes, and, and what happens is here, uh, she makes a readjustment with the, uh, with the leg, and um, the special thing, of course, again, is the use of the hands just to finish it off. And um, I think that most people, uh, great champions, in order to make something work, I mean, she almost, she, I think she only got a Wazari for this in the end. She gets an Ippon, first of all. They changed it to Wazari. It wasn't that. I mean, she did it almost kata-like, didn't she? And uh, she catches the uh, sleeve lapel, and then it's slight readjustment there with the feet and with the body. And you can see how Finish pleased she is with it herself. Look at this. Uh, well, because, I think yep, because she was still right. standing, it's not like she <laughs> absolutely buries her into the ground, you know, but... Uh, pure judo and again like i say it's from a lot of drilling 
feet and hands together. It was a good finish. Yeah, it was good. Perfect. Right. OK, that brings day two to a close. We're going to be back tomorrow for the third and final day of competition here at the Baku Grand Slam from Robin, Neil and myself. Bye-bye for now. Goodbye. Bye for now.